Well, hello, ladies. This is Sonya J. Wells, your drama-free lifestyle coach. Again, I'm coming to you on Empower Me Monday. It's another start of a new week, another day that you can change your life at any point in time. Today's Empower Me Monday, I'm going to be talking about and asking the question, are you a drama queen? Now, I know some of you would say, I probably um, no." The first response would be no, but you would be surprised. Drama, as I define it, is a constant, unscheduled flurry of events that create confusion, distraction, frustration, which leads to an unproductive lifestyle. So, drama is something that we have a propensity to be drawn to or even not even realize that we are drawn to it. And Wester, listen to this. Wester defines drama as this, that drama is a state, a situation, or a series of events involving interesting or intense conflict of forces. It's a dramatic state that affects the quality of your life. Wow. So, ladies, at some point, you have to stop being a drama queen. And you just have to really ask yourself, am I a drama queen? What I want to share with you today are what are some things that causes drama in your life? What does it mean to live a drama-free life? But first, I want to give you a little test. I have 10 questions that I want to ask you to, to help you see well where you are. Are you a drama queen? And here are the 10 questions. Are you, do you have a victim mindset? Do you, do you walk around acting victimized? Now, let me tell you. We all have been victimized at some point in our life. Somebody has done something to us. But when it goes from victimization to victimhood where you live in this constant state of victimization, of victimhood where you think that you cannot change your life, that you have no control over your life, where you're always having a pity party, then you probably, I'm pretty sure you act like a drama queen. Number two, are you stuck in your past? Do, re, do you repeat your past over and over and over the things that happened to you, the person that did it to you, the circumstance, the situation that occurred? Do you constantly repeat that? Number three, do you tell your problems to others all the time? You always, when somebody asks you how you're doing, you actually tell them how you're doing. <laughs> you know, you just tell them. Sometimes people ask you how you're doing as, a, as, as just being polite. But you actually tell people your problems all the time. Are you someone who turns everything into something major? You take a, a molehill and you turn it into a mountain. You make everything major in your life. Are you someone who constantly seeks attention? Wow, that's a big one. Because people who are drama queens are attention seekers. They're always seeking attention. That's a big one. Uh, number, number, I'm not sure what number I'm on, but are you someone who is emotionally dysfunctional? Your emotions are all over the place. You feel like it's your duty in life to make everything, everybody around you experience what you're in. You want to draw them into your state of mind. Are you always emotionally unstable? Your emotions are always all over the place, very intense, very moody. One minute you're this way, one minute you're that way. You're depressed one week, and the next week you're in this real extreme, excited, happy mood, but then anything can trigger you, and you go right back to that depression. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, are you someone who thinks the world revolves around you? Oh, I know. Just say ouch. Just say ouch. It's okay. You know, these are just a few other signs of a drama queen. So if you answer yes to five or more of these questions, then it's possible that you just may be a drama queen. <laughs> so ladies, think about this. In life, we will have crisis. I don't, I don't, I'm not disregarding the fact that life will happen. I'm not disregarding that things happen in life. But, and the Bible does say that in life we will have trials and tribulations. But I didn't see anywhere where it says you will have drama. Where you will have this constant chaos in your life. You see, the opposite of drama is order. And what is order? Order is the accurate arrangement of all things. What things? Your identity. Your emotional state of mind. Your mental state of mind. Your physical well-being. Your relationships. Your finances. Everything. You should have order. Now, 
does everything be is everything balanced and in order at, at, at the same time? Most of the times they're not always in balance at the same time. But there's always you always working towards to bring balance and order in your life in every area. That is that is a must. When you are a woman that's living on purpose, you're always seeking to improve the quality of your life at all times. You see, one of the tactics of the enemy and the adversary and just this, this, just life in general is he wants to keep you in a state of confusion. Because when you live in a state of confusion, when you think about it, there's no peace, there's no order, there's no structure, there's no vision. There's, you're just kind of all over the place. And let me tell you something. That's not how God designed us to live. You see, it's the tactic of the enemy to keep you in a state of confusion. One of the scriptures, in, uh, there's a scripture in James uh, 3 and 16 says, For where there is envy and strife, there is confusion in every evil work. Let me tell you something. That word evil has nothing to do with being wicked. But what evil has to do with, it means not, it doesn't mean that you don't have the presence of God with you. But it is a condition where you cannot, where God cannot be seen or heard. Because you got so much drama. You got so much chaos. You got so much confusion going on around you that you can't even hear God. You don't even know what steps to go. And you don't even know what, what, what direction you're supposed to be going in. So, Are you a drama queen? Do you have constant drama in your life? Do you always feel sad? Do you always feel depressed? Do you always get triggered by any little situation that comes in your life? I'm telling you, it is not of God for you to live in a constant state of drama. You're supposed to be living. When you live in a constant state of drama, let me tell you something. You're living in the realm of death. And I know, I know, I know, I know. But listen, let me tell you something. The rim of death is this. When you live in the rim of death, there is the rim of death. There is confusion. There is disorder. There is chaos. There is torment. There is all the negative things that come in your life is in that rim of death. The Bible says you can choose life or death. When you live in the rim of life, you have peace. You have order. You can hear God. You, you're not distracted easily by, by, by things that happen to you. You're not distracted easily by when people do certain things that, that appear to be something similar to what has happened to you before. So you need to pay attention to how you're living. Because if, if the enemy can keep you in a state of confusion about God and keep you from hearing God, then he can keep you in a state of confusion about your identity, your purpose. He can keep you from living and fulfilling an, that abundant life that you were meant to live. So, ladies, drama is not normal, nor is it healthy. I know that right now. When we look at our televisions, we look at all the things that are on TV, oh my God, they just spewing out drama, constant, constant drama. And I know a lot of you probably watch the, uh, uh, what is that, Basketball Wives and the stories of the different women that are on TV. These ladies, I know they're on there acting and depicting the roles, but let me tell you, these things are affecting their quality of their life. It may seem glamorous, it may seem like it's just a wonderful life, but nobody, no, not one person can really live a successful life when they live in a state of drama. So the truth is, some of us, we love drama. Okay, but let me tell you, drama is a total waste of time and energy because when you have constant drama in your life, it drains you of life. It drains you of energy. Oh, my God. It is such a waste of time. So it's real important for you to begin to examine your life and look at where you are. If you are always in a state of confusion, if you're always distracted, if you're always frustrated, if you just your quality of life is just not where you want it, then you may need to look at the fact that you may just have a victim mentality. And one of the things that I'm going to be talking about at the Live Drama Free Seminar that's coming up, which I'm very, very anticipating a great impact on the lives of the women that will be attending, is the dreaded drama triangle you may just have a victim mindset <clears throat> and we need to get you from that place to the next place and one of the things that i'm going to be sharing is how to get from that place to of, of, of being a victim to being a creator to being the one who who understands you have the power and the tools and everything you need to transform your life so ladies if you haven't signed up for the live drama free seminar i only have four tickets left i'm not going to turn anyone away if, if you're one of the ones that miss out on these four tickets and you say you know what i want to come to the live drama free seminar go ahead email me call me and i will get you in the door okay 
And ladies, I hope you have a good week. I hope you are being honest with yourself about where you are because none of us were meant to live in a constant state of drama. This is Sonia J. Wells, your drama-free lifestyle coach, and I hope you have a drama-free week.